women just don't understand men. And they think that to attract a man that is of high value, a quality masculine energy man, they have to play games and be strategic and try to win him over. And all of these things actually push a high value man away because a high value man wants to be with a woman where it just organically fits and she's not trying so hard to win him over. Now, there's a few things that go into how a man falls in love and what a high value man is looking for. One of the things that he's looking for is for that organic challenge. Now, yes, men want to be with a woman where there is a level of challenge there. If a woman is just so easy to get and a woman doesn't value herself and doesn't think highly of herself and doesn't really understand the value that she brings into a relationship, when she meets a man that is high value or a quality man, what happens is unconsciously she just wants to be with him so bad. And so her behaviors, because her beliefs about herself are not strong, her behaviors start to reflect her low value beliefs. She starts to put this man on a pedestal and thinks this man is great. And wow, men like that don't exist. And there's this quality guy and he's giving me some sort of attention. And because she doesn't feel that way about herself, she's outsourcing that onto him. As soon as she meets this type of man, her behaviors start to reflect her low self-esteem and her lack of strong beliefs about herself. So she will, you know, get very excited. She'll talk to him so much on the dating app. She'll put all of her eggs in this basket. And so what happens is a woman stops presenting as a challenge. And high quality men, men that feel good about themselves, are successful, handsome, have a lot of things going for themselves. They don't want to be with a woman that is all super eager about him, right? The ego part of him likes it and wants that attention, just as all of us do. It's human nature to appreciate the attention from the opposite sex, whether it's good attention or bad attention. For me personally, I'm not a fan of bad attention, right? I don't like it. I don't want anything to do with it. I don't need it, right? When men that are not quality give me attention, it it evokes in me fear because I'm a woman. And so the safety aspect comes in for me, right? Men don't have that feeling of unsafety. And so for them, even if a low quality woman is pursuing them, it's going to activate their ego. It's still going to feel good to them. It's not going to activate or trigger his heart because his heart is only going to be activated by a high value woman. The challenge that a man needs comes from the beginning of a relationship where he's courting and pursuing her. Now, unhealthy, weak, feminine men, because I get a lot of these men posting on my Facebook posts and my videos and they will refute what I'm saying. A strong, quality, high value man knows that it's his job to like a woman, pursue a woman, and make it happen with her. An unhealthy, weak, emasculated type of man, a man that is very wounded, insecure, is not going to have that mindset because he doesn't have the confidence within himself to pursue a woman. So he's going to naturally get triggered by my messages because he's going to want women to pursue him. That's not the type of dynamics that I'm talking about here. I'm talking about healthy, quality, high-value masculine men. So the challenge comes from a woman's own innate value and idea of herself and her own self-worth. A woman that has self-worth, and I talk about high-value feminine women and secrets of the feminine woman and what it means to be a feminine woman. So make sure you check that book out. So such a good book. That book is me. So it's such a great book. But I talk about the characteristics of a feminine woman and a high-value feminine woman because these are the types of women that men naturally gravitate to and men naturally feel a pull to and are naturally and organically a challenge. So even in what men want, and I talk about the courting phase and how long that lasts and what masculine men desire. And so challenge is one of them, but it comes from an, an organic pursuit. So women that are high value in their nature are not going to put all of their eggs in the, a man's basket right away because they know that they're desirable. They have an abundance mindset. They know that there's a million men out there and that they can have anyone that they desire and be willing to wait to be pursued by a man. And they'd rather be single than be with a man that doesn't meet them where they are. And men, when they're challenged in that way, in the healthy way, they actually start to fall in love. Their interest starts to pike in a woman. They start to think, wow, it would be so amazing to be with this woman that has so many options and 
She's going to choose me. That's so amazing. And it makes them feel good about themselves. Another way in which women create desire in a man and ultimately help a man fall in love is their ability to be appreciative of his efforts. Now, a lot of women don't understand that in order for a man to continue to come back and come back, a man needs to feel appreciated. He needs to feel like, okay, the things I'm doing are making an impact and it's working. Because if a woman is always miserable and unhappy and never satisfied with the attempts that the man is making, especially in the beginning, right? Women have all these expectations in the beginning. And in my books, I also talk about what reasonable expectations are. But women have all these expectations in the beginning and they don't understand that men are also out in the world dating, looking for their perfect partner and their perfect match. And it's very unlikely that a man is going to take a woman out to a fancy restaurant on a first date. In fact, I don't recommend a man doing that because a lot of women also have the wrong intentions in dating and are looking for a sugar daddy and are looking for a man to provide for them and secure masculine men should wait and take a woman out to coffee and smaller things and then build. And I talk about this in the books as well because courtship is building. And so when a man is taking a woman out or making reservations and a woman is not excited and appreciative of that and instead thinks to herself, this restaurant isn't nice or he took me to a coffee shop or he did something last minute and she has all these expectations, that energy gets fed out. And a man can feel it. And what ends up happening is he starts to become discouraged. And for women, this is not something you can think because it's felt. And so this is why inner work is so important because you can't change your energy. Your energy is always going to tell the truth, even if the words don't. So the energy is going to speak for itself. And so if you don't feel satisfied, but you are playing a game and trying to be strategic and being appreciative, He's going to feel genuinely where you're really at versus what you're saying. I never take anything for granted. So this is one of the qualities that makes my partner love me. An example of that was today. I woke up today with my monthly time of the month and I'm feeling tired. I'm not feeling the best. And my partner knew this. He made us breakfast in the morning. And when I took my dog out, he came back with an aroma coffee. Now, I love coffee and I love aroma. And then When I saw him, I was like super excited and so thankful. He always gets me aroma coffee. Some might think, what's the big deal? He got you a coffee. And you're right. He gets me a coffee quite often. And it's premium coffee. It's not like it's cheap coffee. It's premium coffee. But I don't look at it as, okay, this is what he's supposed to do. And like, that's just an expectation because he doesn't have to do that. In fact, this morning when I went to walk Milo, I said to him, babe, can you put the coffee on? And he was like, no, we're going to get aroma. And that made me feel good because he can say no. He doesn't have to go spend $7 on coffee every day for me. But he did that to make me happy. And when I saw him, he said to me, I was thinking that maybe this will brighten up your day. This will make you feel good. And I was like, babe, that's what you thought about? And he said, yeah. So he's always looking for ways to make me happy. But if I was grumpy about it, if I didn't appreciate it, if I was not excited and thrilled with his effort, he's not going to think about doing that for me. So I'm always delighted and appreciative of what anyone does for me, even on my Facebook posts or anywhere anyone comments. I always send a fert, send a thank you. I always spend time showing my appreciation because people don't have to do that. People don't have to support you. And many people don't. And so the people that do, I want to thank them for that. So men very much are attracted to this and people in and of itself are attracted to this. Now, the last thing that makes a man very much attracted to a woman and makes a man fall in love is his ability to invest in you. Now, men, and goes back to the first comment that I was mentioning in terms of being a challenge, masculine men feel and fall in love through their investment of you. And so you want a man to spend his time messaging you, thinking about you, commenting on how beautiful you look, figuring out ways to be with you. Every time a man is investing in a woman, he's falling in love. Men and women fall in love in different ways. And men don't want help in that area because when a man is thinking of ways to be with you, he's actually investing in you. And so women that take this away from a man and they help a man, they make life easier for a man, 
especially when it's too early, are losing that opportunity for a man to fall in love because masculine energy is the doing energy. And so the more a man is doing for you, the more he's falling in love with you. So even in my own relationship, my partner pretty much cooks all the time. He made his breakfast. So I'll clean, I'll do those things. And when it comes to cooking, I'll make Peter shakes and things like that. But in terms of cooking, Peter's a better cook than I am. I will do the dishes, but he's a better cook than I am. And he'll do the cooking. This morning, he made his breakfast. So every single time he's doing, he's investing more and more into me. Every single time he's sacrificing. So this is another small example. Peter's very much into supplements. And I love this peach supplement drink that we got. I ended up buying the wrong flavor. I bought the berry flavor and then Peter ended up buying the peach flavor. And so he'll leave the peach flavor for me. He sacrifices. These are small examples, but he knows that every time he has the berry instead of the peach, it makes me happy because it makes me feel like there's more left for me. And so he's doing something for me. We don't live together right now. And he's the one that always commutes to come to me. I don't necessarily go to him. So all these little things add up and it makes a man feel at a subconscious level, okay, I'm investing my energy into her. I'm investing my time into her. I want to make sure that this relationship works. I want to do whatever I can to make it work. Now, if I'm not appreciating his efforts, he's not going to want to do those things. If I'm not fun to be around, he's not going to want to do those things. If I'm not sweet and loving and caring and if I'm not giving him my femininity and my feminine energy, he's not going to want to do those things. And I'm going to have to force those things out of him, which, of course, I would never do. Those things are things he wants to do and he willingly does because he's also getting his needs met by me. I'm a challenge. I'm fun to be with. I appreciate him. And I infuse a lot of femininity into our relationship. And that makes him feel good as a masculine man because he's able to experience his own energy, which is the masculine energy, but also the other part of him, with it, which is his feminine nature. And he can't really get any of that unless he's with me. Because, of course, he leads his life in his masculine energy, right? But when he's in the relationship with me, he's also able to tap into the other side of him. So I hope you guys love this video. Please subscribe if you enjoy my content. Let me know what you guys want to hear from me, what you want to see more of. And I will make sure to tune in and do more of those videos. Bye.